Well, I am really gross. Good morning. This is Jimmy's world. I'm Jimmy. Welcome to my world. On today's episode, we're going to start the project on this thing. This is my 1989 Hummer H1 as you civilians know it, but this one is the real deal. It's an M998. I bought it from govplanet.com probably four or five years ago now, and I used it for a marketing vehicle, uh, and it did fantastic because it gets a lot of attention. And now I'm going to be selling it, unfortunately. I love the looks of this thing, but I don't ever drive it. It is set in this spot for about two and a half years now, which breaks my heart. Um, I start it up every so often, keep the batteries charged and, and that kind of thing, but I just don't use it enough. So I've got some wheels, some seats. We're going to be painting it. I got a light bar we're putting on it. We're going to kind of spruce it up a little bit and bring it up to modern standards. It's got the 6.5 liter diesel producing all of about 6 horsepower, 3 speed, automatic transmission, obviously 4 wheel drive. It's a Hummer. It's a Humvee is what I we call it. Step 1 is I'm going to be painting the underside of it to get that part looking good and then we can put the wheels and tires on it and then we'll start on the inside. Well, let's get to work. took yesterday off because I was breathing black boogers and I had black lung disease and everything else. And I did. I went through a couple of masks. These are these little dust masks here. And yeah, it look, this is the inside of that mask. Oh, that's gross. So that goes to show these masks, they don't block jack. Even paint particles, which are gigantic, and I can see them all over the floor and everything else. Yeah, those masks aren't even blocking those, so, um, okay. Day number two on the Humvee. I also, I can't remember if this was on the video or not. I went ahead and painted that, threw that on there real quick. It was super easy. Status update. Got these lights right here on. Those were already in. That was already in. Got that light on. We got those plugged in. They're getting, they're drying. As soon as they dry, we'll put them on. The biggest trick is this wiring in here, getting all these things connected. Now, thankfully, the military makes this army proof and they put one number on this side and then another little tag of a number on the other side. And all you gotta do is just connect A to A, B to B, and so forth. And they all turn on and work. You, you gotta love the military for some things. And then I got this uh, grate in here. So we got that done. That looks pretty cool. 
I'll be, uh, we gotta paint this one still, sitting over there behind the box. And now these are, this side is dry, so I need to flip them over and paint the other side of a few of these things. Yeah, it's starting to come together. Digging it. The secret to a real bologna sandwich, you gotta cut your three, three lines in it so it doesn't bubble up and then, bam, chips on that bad boy. Oh yeah. Yesterday, we, I finished this up, which I uh, didn't put on there, but I literally spent like three hours with a chisel. Well, it's not really a chisel, it's a scraper and a hammer chipping off the old paint and primer and it has the uh, the military kark paint on it which is for chemical warfare and stuff like that which fun side note they found out doesn't actually do anything except for absorb and soak in the chemicals so it makes the vehicle even more useless than if they would have not put that stuff on there but that's a side note for military intelligence stuff which yeah it's funny and hey, for all you that in the military, hey, don't be making fun of the military. I'm in the military, so I get to do it, okay? <sighs> all right. Today, I think we're going to work on the seats, getting those bolted in, and uh, getting these hood latches done here because my arms are not long enough to hold the bolt here and to be inside the door all the way up in there for where um, the nuts and stuff go on the back. Yeah, we'll get started on the seats. I did call in some reinforcements. Uh, he'll be here in a little bit. And I'm not actually sure if I'm allowed to show him on camera because he's also in the military and he's got security clearances that may prevent him from being on camera. But if he is, I may have to alter his voice or pixelate his face or something, so. Yay, two people. Got these things bolted on. Got because you gotta reach around that side, way the heck up under there to get to those bolts. And one person's arm, I don't care how tall you are, is not long enough for that or have four elbows. So, hey, he's, he's, he's allowed, yeah, that's the second arm. And he's, he said he is allowed to be on here, but I'm just not gonna release all of his personal information, his mother's <laughs> name, maiden name, but that will be in the description below. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And now we are removing the seats there to get these dry fitted for the Smitty built seats. Those bolt to there, so we do not need this back, which just comes out like that anyway. Super easy. There's that. Half the job's done. And these are bolted on with just a couple of bolts. This little panel comes off that and like that and bada bing bada boom now we gotta see yeah those are not gonna be anywhere close so we'll have to drill that panel right there to line up with the bottom of that seat and that's all it takes to put those seats in what do you think should be easy enough Every car project is super easy and goes perfectly. So yep. that's my experience. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> There's never anything that, that shows up unexpectedly. Bada bing, bada boom. There she's done. Fits in nice and snug. All right, Mr. Army Man, hop in and tell us uh, if it's more or less comfortable than the uh, the regular seats. It's got a really nice lumbar support. It's like uh, race car seats. Probably need like the, the two <laughs> seat belts in there. Exactly. <laughs> All right, with full body armor on, your helmet. Full body kit knobs on top of the helmet probably still have a tough time getting out of these that's a wonderful design parameters in the u.s army yeah that's right that's right 
Here. Go U.S. Army if you can see it over there. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, one down, three, three down. to go. And that one over there, this is the easiest one of all three. That one over there is gonna be a pain because the frame is not flat like this. It has some weird, it's just all crazy over there. So we may have to make brackets and weld and get the grinder and the welder out and stuff like that, which is always fun for that seat right there. We'll go ahead and try to bust out these other three seats. Uh, take that one out and get everything ready for paint. Let's keep rolling. All right, there is the third seat in. We got it bolted in there. We got that one back there done. And this one is done. Took them out because we got to paint. Got everything holes drilled. Now it is time to work on that thing over there. I'm not looking forward to that one. Ooh, fancy. We got a grill on it. That turned out really well. We got that there. We got our latches on it. I think the front is done. Hey, that was looking pretty good. Nice. Got to put the light bar up there still. Fantastic. I've gone as far as I can go. I am out of paint and I need to figure out, do some research on the bracket for that driver's seat over there. I don't know if I'll make one or if I'll just find one that somebody's already made and it's out there. Uh, so I need to do some research on that. The light bar, I'll be installing that. Uh, but everything else, I mean, I've pretty much gone as far as I can go at this point until I can get some more primer and paint and bolts. I need some bolts and screws and stuff to put things back together because some of the old ones, they broke and that kind of stuff. But anyways, so off day is hard where I go. And that's about it. So as every YouTuber in the history of YouTube says, smash that subscribe, throw me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on these uh, military vehicles in general being turned into civilian use vehicles, which frankly I think is pretty awesome. My name is Jimmy. This is my world. I will see you on the next video where hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do the final touches and get the inside all colored up and that seat done and then I think it's done. Oh, the light bar. Not, not too much left to do. But it's that last 10% that takes the 90%, as with any project. All right, bye-bye.